Today we are going to be attempting a beef chuck roast. It should take about five hours on the pit barrel. Beef chuck roast is hanging. Now we let it hang here till about 160. After about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, we were up to about 155 degrees. So just a little bit longer to go. And then we'll take it off the hanger. Wrap it in tin foil with some beef broth, Worcestershire sauce, and then put it on the rack. Oh yeah, after about two hours, we are at 160, so time to take it in, wrap it in foil, put it with some beef broth and Worcestershire sauce. Wrapped in foil, back on until it gets up to 205. After about an hour and five minutes of being wrapped in foil, it has come up to 205 degrees. We're going to take it off now and wrap it in a blanket and let it rest for an hour or two. Hang in some red potatoes and some asparagus while the meat is resting. And here's what the roast looks like after resting for about an hour and a half. Looks good. So this time we did a beef chuck roast on the pit barrel. Um, turned out good. It rendered all the fat out of it, which is uh, better than doing it how we normally do in the crock pot. Cooked a little faster than what all the directions said. We also tried to do asparagus and potatoes on the pit barrel, but um, we put them on after 45 minutes. They weren't cooked, and we were running out of time, so we ended up uh, throwing them on the propane grill and finishing them off there. But uh, overall, the... Uh, the um, the roast was great, uh, t flavor was great, there was no fat in it, we really enjoyed it.